Our first guest tonight is a tremendously successful actor, Marvel martial artist, New York Times best-selling author who now immerses himself in the world of soup dumplings. Please welcome Simu Liu. <laughs> You know, it's very strange, um, and it's great to have you here. Finally, yeah. You've been here, what, four times? This is my fourth time on the show, Jimmy, and this is, and we've never met. We never met, isn't it? How that... is this possible? Well, I guess once you hosted the show for me, and thank you for doing you're, that. You're very welcome. And then I think the other times, uh, you were here with guest hosts yeah, over the I summer. Just have, who is your agent? Who negotiated <laughs> this much time off for you? This <laughs> I want him or her. His name is Baby Doll, and I will be Baby. happy to introduce you to Baby Doll. You and Baby Doll would hit it off. You let me know, because I want those summers off, too. Yeah, no, I'll be happy to help you out. So you've been here a bunch of times. You've talked yeah, to the yeah, audience, yeah. and uh, not to me, although I did watch you on TV. I appreciate that. I'm, I'm sure you were somewhere nice and warm. And, I was uh, up fishing, yeah. But, yeah, um, nice. Yeah, it was very, it was a little warmer than it should have been. But, uh, yeah, we had a very nice time. I'm and so glad. It's great to have good. you here. It's so, so good to be for, here. can you catch me up on what I missed? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I brought I brought cue cards. Oh, you did. Um, okay, great. Yeah, this is stuff that I've I've basically you know revealed on the show okay, or talked good. about with all the other hosts. They're basically bullet points about okay, my great, life because uh, I don't want to ask questions you've no, already answered. No, no, no. Let's okay. So I, I got a job as an accountant, but then I got laid off. Uh, never told my parents. Uh -huh. uh, my parents told me I was conceived after they had a date at KFC. This is a great story. No, it was the it was the first KFC that opened up in China. And my parents stood in line for two hours to get the KFC, and then later they made me. So it's great. You're a KFC bucket baby. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> um, let's see. A lot of these are parents stuff. There's more uh -huh. about my parents than it is about me. <laughs> parents came back when I was four and a half to take me to Canada. Both became aerospace engineers. Okay. Um, yeah. Same here. Uh, I was voted one. Of <laughs> I was voted one of Toronto's hottest bachelors in 28. How did that get there? I don't know. Someone snuck, someone snuck that one in. Um, you know, uh, Spider-Man at kids' birthday parties. Pete wins the stunt double. You're caught up. All right, all right, yeah. good. I'm glad we caught up. Yeah. Where do you live now? I live here. You I live, live here, here in L.A.? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have U.S. citizenship? I know you're from Canada, right? Yeah, yeah no, I've been, um, I've been riding that Alien of Extraordinary uh, Ability visa for, like, probably, like, seven years Is that what now. it's called? Yeah, yeah. Sound, I would go see that movie. Alien it was a, it's a cool sci-fi epic somewhere for sure. Yeah. But no, I've been actually. It's a great. It's, thank you for mentioning that because I've been having a lot of trouble trying to get this green card. I swear to God, I've been trying to get this green card for like five years, and you know, it's like you send something into the immigration, you know, and and you just wait forever, and then they send you one letter, and they're like, please send like all of these things, and you have to do like a medical and a police check, and I'm not saying that I didn't pass those things, but like. <laughs> If you do one of those things wrong, they like kick your application all the way to the back of the line. So, but um, isn't it true that if you were conceived um, on a night after KFC has been consumed, that you are automatically an American citizen? That might it's be the like, most American thing about it, me or anyone. It's anyway. similar to being. It's actually, I think, the same rule as like when you're born on a military base overseas. Yeah, it's I should. Like, they should just. I should be a citizen at that you, point. Of course, you should be a citizen. <laughs> you know, Guillermo has his green card. Maybe he can help you with this. I, yeah, I, I help you. Don't worry. After the show, we he talk. knows some people right. over there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. You, um, you received a great honor in our country last week. Mm. You were invited to the uh, premiere of Taylor Swift's concert movie. Yes. Which yes. is, um, yes. it was at the Grove. Yes. It was a star-studded event. Absolutely. You went with who? I went with my, my girlfriend, Allison. The okay. Like, the biggest Swifty in the world. I know there's probably Swifties in the audience. <laughs> She's big, but she's, enough. she's yeah, she's up there. I mean, she's she went to the Eras tour five times. Oh, she did. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, it's the freaking Super Bowl. You know what I mean? Like, it's seventy thousand people stadiums, and she's like, you know, Taylor's a force of nature. So I get it. And I've been kind of like roped into the fandom, you know, initially. But then you start listening to her music, and you're like, oh my god, this woman has written a song for every conceivable situation in life. <laughs> Dealing with the haters, heartbreak, you got a crush, you got a crush that's in a relationship, you got a crush that's out of a relationship. You were just out of a relationship and you've got a crush and you're trying to decide whether you want to be in a relationship. I mean, true, and You and really did get roped in, didn't you? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Hardcore. You know the words Hardcore. to the songs and yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we ended up 
Well, I didn't know this would happen, but Taylor, you know, came to all of the cinemas at the Grove to say hi because she's that kind of, you know, she's an incredible person. And then she ended up sitting right behind us. You had better seats than Taylor Swift? I had, was one row closer than Taylor Swift. Yeah, so they brought a video here. Did, yeah, and uh, there, now here you are. There, yeah, there you are. Who's, who's filming this? Oh, wow. <laughs> you look embarrassed that you've got better seats than Taylor Swift. Well, I'm just, I'm embarrassed because I'm like, clearly they're not taking the video for me. So I just feel like I'm in the way. But then I also feel like I'm like, okay, I'm an a if I just sit, right? Because yeah. then I don't look like I'm enjoying the music. Right. But then if I'm like too into it, then I'm stealing her frame. So I'm like, what am I, I'm, so I'm trying to do this blocking like. blocking her, yeah. Exactly, exactly. How long did she sit behind you? She was the entire Oh, she was there the movie. whole movie. Yeah, yeah, she was there the whole movie, which, you know, you would think, it was like a big, you know, I, I was freaking out. Allison was apoplectic. Like, she was just <laughs> the whole time, you know. And, you have and to it, make sure you're showing proper enthusiasm, no, absolutely. right? absolutely. Well, well, that's the thing, is that halfway through the movie, I had to pee. Oh, no, no. I had to go so bad, because, you know, it's like, you know, these premieres always start late, and I was downing Diet Coke. the movie's Coke, two and a half hours and long. And the movie is two and a half hours long. And I'm, like, trying to figure out what the best era is to go. <laughs> That would be least offensive for Taylor. And I was like, well, it's obviously not going to be Reputation or 1989, because those are my personal favorites. I'm never missing those. Uh -huh. You know? And then I'm like, well, I can't wait until midnights. And look, all the errors are great, right? I, I, but I made, the, I, I, I made the decision to go during folklore. I was like, I just can't hold it anymore. I you feel know like what? It, that's a good, because that one was the one out in the woods, and that's a great place to pee. It's perfect yeah. imagery. Right? I yes. mean, it makes sense. I'm glad we understand each other. Did you make sure she knew why you were kind of scurrying out and coming yeah, back? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I made a whole show of it. I was like, oh, I'm sorry. And then I, like, ran. You know, I did the, the movie theater run. And... Wow, your girlfriend really is a lucky lady. I mean, for you to go and hang out and be enthusiastic, does she go Thank with you. you to things that, um, that maybe she wouldn't necessarily go to? You know, that's a really good point. She's roped me into a lot of... A lot of stuff over the over the time that we've been together, and you don't get like a UFC event or something like that in return. Oh, no, I know. I have I have convinced her to come up to. Tr I'm a big Raptors fan, you okay. know, and it's hard to see. Yes. And it's hard. Well, it's hard to be a Raptors fan in LA. So I have I have you know roped her into coming up uh, coming up north with me. It does. Yes, yeah, so you're yeah, still yeah, old. Yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. You know. Uh, well, it doesn't gonna, really. We'll figure out a price that she can pay, and when we come back, uh, we're going to talk I about. That. This is. I have to say, uh, we've had many guests. We've never had anyone promote anything like what you are about to tell us about. I'm ready. And we'll find out about that when we come back. Let's Simu Leo is with us. We'll be right back. We are back with Simu Leo. He is. Um, you were. Uh, this is not only our first time together on the mm -hmm. show, but this is the first time that I've ever had anybody who is like the who is actually um, running a dumpling company like yes. you are right now. Well, <laughs> how did that happen? Thank you, thank you. I've got a lot of time on my hands recently. Yeah, basically. No. Um, and yeah. I got to tell you, I love soup dumplings. They're uh -huh. you know delicious because. The soup, if you never had them, have you had a soup dumpling, Guillermo? Yes, Jimmy, yes, yeah. I love them too. Of course you are, you are a soup dumpling. <laughs> I am. Um... The soup's like in the dumpling. Yeah, yeah, which yeah. Which is yeah. crazy. I tried yours today, they were very Amazing. good. Amazing, yeah, we sent them along. I'm You're so You're what, glad you the like chief them. content officer? I am the chief content officer of Mila. And Mila is this Mila. incredible company that I, that I own a piece of now. And, um, you know, Does that mean by... as chief content officer, mm -hmm. you get to decide what goes into the dumplings? Like oh, you could no. put anything yeah, in no, the dumplings. No, no, no. I don't have the I don't have those kind of qualifications. No, okay. it's like content, like the way that, you know, Gen Z content. I see. Okay. Content. So yes, dumpling related Cheap content. content officer. And yeah. noodle related content. And noodle et related. Yeah. Yes. No, it's a it's a great company. I mean, the whole thing is, you know, we ship in dry ice to every single household across the United States. And the dumplings are ready in 10 minutes. They're perfectly frozen. They're very, very fresh and uh, they taste great. Yeah, you really so got it the, all down, don't you? Yeah. You got the whole yeah, wrap yeah. down. And how did you become involved with this company? Yeah, so there's there's um, there's two versions to this story. Okay. So I'll tell the PG one first, then I'll I'll fill in the details. Okay. In a bit. All right. But the PG version is that um, you know my parents were house sitting uh, for me. I just got in this house. It was a couple of holidays ago, and um, and Mila sent along a, a PR package while I was out of town, and my parents intercepted it, and they loved it so much they decided to cook it, had the whole thing 
There was none left for me by the time I got back. Okay. <laughs> you know, and uh, and that's how we started working together because I got the Asian parent like approved that's stamp. A that's a good stamp of yeah. approval, yeah, for sure. Yeah, so I'm gonna tell the, the less PG version of what happened on this weekend, okay. which is insane. All right, oh. So, so the jot note forms are the, the same, all the points are the same. Like, I, I did get this new house, my parents are house sitting for me, um, and there, there's really nothing in this house other than, you know, some like very basic furniture, um, some clothes, and like some, um, some, some edibles and, Things that I consume recreationally, yes. infrequently, These are legal to help here. me relax. Yes, very right. much so. And uh, and so I'm leaving my parents, and I'm like, hey, look, he means weed, some... Guillermo. Oh yeah, no, I know yeah. that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like, hey, on. hey, um, here's you know, you, you got Uber Eats, you got you got Postmates, DoorDash. Here's some money, and take care of yourselves, treat yourselves, and um, and then I and I up and leave and. The thing is, my parents are, you know, working class immigrants who grew up in China in the 60s and 70s. They have never, they're very frugal people. They've never paid for delivery in their entire lives. Is that true? 100%. Wow. I think maybe one time they ordered a pizza, but it was free delivery for my, for my birthday party. I think I was like 10 or 11. It was the only time. Wow. And so I think they were like trying to figure out these apps for the first time on this first night that, that you know, they're by themselves. And they, they, it's too complicated. They give up. And my mom starts foraging around the house for things to eat. And she's looking and she's looking and she finds her way into my walk-in closet where she finds what she believes, because again, you know, working class you know, immigrant, from the, you have no idea what drugs look like, right? Oh, right yeah. So she finds what she thinks are gummy bears and trail mix with dried mushrooms inside. She's like, oh, these are snacks. Right. These are snacks. And she, so she takes them to my dad, they start Popping them like Skittles. Oh no! And over the course of the oh, night, oh, yeah, <laughs> my my mom becomes increasing like she's like, I'm hungrier. Like the more I'm eating, the hungrier I'm getting, and also I think I'm gonna die. <laughs> and my dad is like, at this point, he's like, we need to go to the grocery store. And my mom's like, uh huh. And so I mean, it's nighttime. They get into my car, immediately crash it. They did. They crash it in my driveway into some, you know, the, like the shrubs and things. <laughs> and they're so high at this point, they're freaking out. They don't know what else to do. They knock on my neighbor's door. So my neighbor gets roped into this, knock on my neighbor's door, and they're like, excuse me, I'm so sorry. I crashed my car. I don't know how to drive it back up into the driveway. Can you please do it for me? So the neighbor get, gets roped into it. He, you know, gets in, drives the car up. My parents are going, to, they're freaking out. The next morning, my parents are starving and, and so high and so hungry. And it's at that moment that the PR package from Mila arrives. And it's got everything. Oh my God. It's got, I mean, it's got the dumplings and the noodles. And we have, you know, we have a couple of different flavors of ice cream as well. And it's like Christmas Day. It was like a miracle. They're like, oh my God. What? So I get home many days later, and the car is totaled. My, sh my shrubs are wrecked, and, and my drugs are gone. And, and I look at my parents, and I'm like, OK, first of all, you, I am never leaving you unsupervised in my house ever again. Um, Were they mad at you, or are you mad at them? Well, I still, they didn't know what had happened to them for many months. <laughs> After, because they didn't understand the concept of hallucinogenics. And then they were like, but, but one thing I do know for sure is you gotta get involved in that company because those dumplings were so good. <laughs> and, and so I bought a piece of the company and I, and I became their chief content officer. Oh, that is absolutely great. It's a, <laughs> it's well, a crazy well, story. Well, uh, congratulations. I mean, that is quite an origin story you got there. Thank you, yes. <laughs> The uh, website, Mila, M-I-L-A, eat, M-I-L-A, dot com. You can have them shift just like Simu's parents. Mm -hmm. And uh, the soup dumplings you can get at grocery stores around the country if your car is able to make it to them, uh, yeah. including select Target yeah. stores starting next week. That's right. Thank and, you, And Simu. the edibles you can get, you know, the at everywhere. your local dispensary. Literally yeah. everywhere. <laughs>